Hey guys and girls and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Shadow of the Tomb Raider on Xbox Series X. And there's some really strange going on with this one. So let's just dive in. First of all, let's see how much data it is. And that's 22.8 GB. The game is on Game Pass. So if you have a Game Pass subscription, you can get it right away. Otherwise, you can also get like the definitive Survivor Trilogy. And that's like, what, less than, than 18 euros. And you get Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider with all the DLC inside for 18 bucks. Le less than 18 bucks. So that's a really good deal. Um, the game is semi-optimized for new gen. So it's Xbox One Gen 9 aware. So it's still Gen Durango, it's still Xbox One. It still runs the Xbox One X version of this game, but it knows it's being played on a Series X. So you get a few extra things going on. Um, it's a little bit strange. So let's go, go start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel means a lot for me you're really helping out the channel you can also hit the bell icon i upload almost on a daily basis new games old games updates on games sometimes even a little bit of hardware here and there so yeah what's a little bit strange about this title is um it has two graphical modes also hdr of course but it has two graphical modes so there's a high resolution mode and a high frame rate mode. High resolution gives you 4K. High frame rate gives you around 1440p. <clears throat> but those are the graphical settings for the One X. So in terms of this game, <clears throat> you can play it on high resolution. And that's nearly a standard 4K resolution like constant at 60 fps huh? yeah exactly 60 fps constantly i did a video a video on it i even recorded it on 120 fps so i i was completely 100 percent sure that the performance mode didn't do something else and uh, yeah, you can see it the quality mode did got some frame drops here and there but then again it's almost on like yeah full-blown 4k with graphics on high it's it's really gorgeous to look at and especially if you have like a um a monitor or television that uses vrr you are gonna love it playing this on quality mode or high resolution mode right now i'm also playing it on high resolution mode <laughs> and um yeah, this is this is perfect. <clears throat> Jonah! Look at this. Man, I wish all new gen games that we got these couple of years looked like this. But only the last gen games look like this. Really strange. graphics oh yeah I thought I got you killed oh cool hey do you know what happened to Miguel he didn't make it. Every hair, everything, everything looks good in this game. Why aren't they using these like last gen engines and make games look like this on these consoles? 
upset. I know it's a little bit older, but sure you know what you're doing these now. games at least uh, run in incredibly well. I had something similar happen to me when I was <coughs> in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm? And I haven't seen any games in like Unreal Engine 5 or so that I'm like, wow, this looks so much better than uh, this. No. Uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward. <laughs> Flying into that storm. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> Jonah. I, I... I'm with you. At this. It's my choice. You know, I'm going to skip this. I want to play a little bit more. I think we can Landing. see the village through the vines over there. I'm glad you stayed at the crash site. Well, if you were out there, I wanted you to be able to find me. I had a flare gun, so... Yeah, I think Miguel was heading toward it when... Poor guy. How'd you manage to get Eli in your arm anyway? These games are so good. I was trying to figure out if the water was clean. Hey, what's this? My answer. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Do you really believe in all that... that stuff? You said about the cataclysms, the apocalypse. We can get through here. Thank goodness. The colors, the the the, the graphics, everything. It looks so incredibly good. You see that? It must be Kwakyaku. We have to get down there. You sure this is a path? Come on, stay close to me. This is definitely not a path. <sighs> oh. Everything looks sharp. Oh, oh Almost there. <laughs> <coughs> Heard that before. <sighs> Oh, gotcha. You're right. I'm okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. Okay. You're right. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. What do you think, Bill? Especially now since it's on Game Pass. They knew a lot about hydraulics. Bridges down. Maybe we could lift it with those counterweights. Maybe. Puzzles are great too. I hope that this structure is here because we're on our way to that village. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that did something. I think the water powers the bridge somehow. I bet this water. It's too heavy. Give me a hand. The water's filling the bucket. Good. Let's see what those counterweights do. Where is... Wait, no, maybe, yes.
Darn it. Oh. Do I need to go down a little bit? I have no idea. Yes, now we know. Such a long time since I played this. Okay, Jonah, you can let go. Let's, Let's get across. <laughs> awesome. <clears throat> That's so cool. Mm. Oh, there's a bridge. Cool. Guess we go through here. After you. You know what? I think the rest of the game I will leave up to you guys. Go check it out. It's on Game Pass. Um, otherwise, you can buy it like dirt cheap. And look at how amazing these games look on these new gen systems. It's gorgeous. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. Bye.